good afternoon y'all it is noon it is Tuesday I believe um okay first of all what I want to say is that anything I talk to y'all about is just my own personal feelings my own personal opinions. I do not expect everybody to agree with me. We are individuals and I respect that. The other thing that I want to say today is we are back in busy mode. So I'm not, probably not going to answer any comments that y'all make on this video. If I can, I will. If I can't, please understand. Mary Jo called me crying yesterday. Her mom, in the middle of the night, tried to get out of bed and she broke, fractured her other hip and shoulder. Now y'all, I know that you will pray for her and for Mary Jo. This is so difficult for her. I am going to tell you what I think. I think that this injury and her other injury were totally preventable. It is our government. It's our government's fault. They have laws in place that they feel like are to protect people's rights. And I know I told you guys this before. A patient has a right to fall. That is BS. In my humble opinion, these things, these people who are so vulnerable deserve our protection. If that means that they need to be in soft restraints and the family agrees to it and the doctor then they should be allowed to be used. Both of Marge's horrible accidents could have been prevented. She would have never had to suffer the way that she has and is suffering. Now, I looked it up the last time that she broke things and there are restraints they are referred to as soft restraints there I believe wide bands that crisscross the trunk of a person's body their arms their legs their hands everything is unrestricted and they are made in such a way that they can be released like that. I'm very angry. You guys can tell that by my sweet tone of voice. I am so angry. A person who is disabled in their brain, their thought process, a person who has Alzheimer's, a person who has dementia, someone who is mentally ill to the point that they do not understand and are not able to follow directions. It is unfair and inhumane. Now, the decision had to be made. Is she 
going to be subjected to another surgery that was very traumatic for her and very difficult. She's 83 years old, you guys. The decision's been made not to cause her any more pain and suffering. They will manage her pain as best they can. She will have to be immobile. She will never walk again. She probably will never even be able to sit up in a wheelchair. And this could have all been prevented. This goes along with our mentally ill, incompetent, disabled folks that are on the street. Their lives are so horrendous. It's inhumane. I'm not saying, I'm not advocating rounding people up like cattle and sticking them in a, you know, horrible, horrible place. I'm not. But I do believe that they deserve humane treatment. They deserve to be able to function reasonably. Now, I know a lot of them don't take their meds. They get them, they throw them away. And that happens because they're not supervised. They don't have a chance to feel what it feels like to feel better. I know this, you guys know this from my own personal experience and other people that I've known. Where is our humanity? So we're going to be very busy. Hospice is coming. I think Mary Jo is with them right now. This breaks my heart. And my friend is so devastated. Her family lives out of state. So she's basically, she's the sole caregiver. They make decisions together on things, but they're not here to help. I'm sorry y'all that this video is really sad, but it is part of my life. And you guys know that I share my life with you guys and it's not always good. Now, last week, Hazel and I took a little road trip. We stayed gone all day. It was so nice. I always have itchy feet, you guys. When I get in my van, I just want to keep going. I just want to keep going. But you guys, um, I'll make another video, you know, as I have the opportunity to do. And it will not be a sad video. <laughs> but you guys, life changes like that. We never know what's going to happen. 
a lot of times good things happen, but not always. That's why I feel like it's so important to do something fun every day. If, <laughs> if it's no more than soaking your tired, aching feet in Epsom salt. <laughs> I got my red light that Hula Shack subject, su suggested, I can't talk, of course, and I am going to be trying that out as I can on my back problems, and I will definitely let you guys know if this is going to help. I also have an ortho appointment. I have an MRI appointment. So, busy, busy days. And I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Um, I really, really, it is my intention to get back out there and do some traveling in the springtime. Love and prayers to you guys, and do something fun. Bye now.